Lift it, Yora. We're on Kauai. It's about 6.15, Yihue Airport. You can hear the chickens crowing, the roosters crowing first thing. Kauai kind things. One, this is super relaxing. This view is, it's insane. Two, even though we live in Hawaii, how often do you actually do this? Hammock with uh, a 10 out of 10 view. Also, we woke up at 3.30 this morning to get here to Kauai. And I was thinking about my wife. I think she'd love it right here. She'd probably come out here and read and write her books and whatnot. I don't know. I was just thinking if I lived on Kauai, would I want to live in this resorty, like a sterilized resort thing? And you're right next to Hanale, which is amazing. Would I go more rootsy, like we're going to get a little later in the video? I don't know. Let's see how gracefully... Hey, not bad. Get out of this hammock. We're here on a resort. Like if we were just filming a podcast with our new website provider. Derek, thank you so much for being on the show. Appreciate really it. Do appreciate you. Thank you. That was fun. North Shore of Kauai, Princeville. Would you live here? These are timeshares, so you can't buy these things per se. You can buy into timeshares. Pan back this way. When you get into Princeville, there are single family homes too, ranging anywhere from under a million to well, well into the millions. And uh, views can matter, right? Like this home here, if you were to set it back, without this coastal view that might be a million dollar view in and of itself right sometimes we hear like we w i would move to Kauai, but there's no jobs i had to move to oahu but if i did princeville is my spot i always hear princeville is my spot you know on maui there's wailea on big island and kona there's some resort areas on oahu it's Ko'olina, where i own uh, i actually own a something like this in Kotalina that I use as a, as a rental and investment. And here it's Princeville. It's, it's a true resort community. So as we leave, I'm gonna show you guys a golf course. Guarantees there's gonna be people, people running. We'll get into some of the single family homes. Norman, who we were just with, he ran into a guy, he said he hadn't seen since they were kids. They saw each other on the beach. And the guy was like, yeah, I just bought a house over here. They're about to go to that guy's house. If we get invited, I'll show you guys. You know, I don't want to impose. But we'll show you guys around Princeville a little bit. A lot of people on this channel, you're from the mainland watching this, right? People want to move to Kauai is because they want to get away from it, not because they have this big corporate white collar job. And if you want to get away from it, well, this island is getting away from it, right? Coming up to the North Shore, being by Hanale Bay, like it's, there's just something, something special is different. Princeville is, Probably the most likely, one of the most likely places, not the most likely that someone from the mainland is gonna buy. Like this is one of the areas that the mainland is gonna buy. I love it. So like areas of Poipu or Princeville for sure. But this is Norman. You haven't been to any other Hawaiian islands, yeah? Never. So sure. when you come to Kauai, let me just ask you this. I just told you earlier, I was like, yeah. hey, you guys are gonna end up moving to Kauai because the way you were talking about it is like the, the precursors of people that are like, I have to, I have to be there. And he knows. So you live in Arizona. Yeah. You listen, used to live in the Bay Area. Bay Area. You yeah. grew up in the Bay Area. Yeah. Would you live here? Yeah. How is Hawaii or most, how is Kauai different? It's just and, the island vibe. It's, it's slower pace, which is yeah. nice. It's beautiful. Um, I love to, my wife loves to run. I love to exercise outside. The beaches are warm. My daughter loves going to the sand, the beach, and just hanging out there. The yeah. food. My wife loves poke bowls, bowls. So, poke bowls, yeah. so poke bowls. She just loves the seafood, which is so fresh, and the energy is just different. That's what I was gonna ask. How do you think your like neurons and electrons would be different living here? I would say you can live longer. No. You live longer, <laughs> probably. You probably live longer. I do the Wim Hof breathing techniques, and I was doing it this morning as I was telling yeah. you on the podcast, and it really just made me feel almost like naturally just high. Yeah. yeah. Just from the oxygen alone. And also in Arizona, it's dry. And out here, yeah, it's yeah. so much, it's more, you could just, the humidity obviously in the summer is a lot more than now. Yeah. So it's, it's what, January right now? The humidity right, right. is perfect. So 60, 63% humidity, I looked it up, yeah. um, is perfect. And it just feels, the energy feels like really amazing. There's that energy, there's a, you know in Hawaii we call that mana. Mana. You ever heard that? No. Mana. Mana is like your, your aura, your essence, your energy. So like that, this island has like a mana, like this whole, all of Hawaii, all of Earth, that. right? But yes, yes. You, you feel it, it's like palpable here, yeah. yeah. So if you were to move to Kauai, you, would you move to Princeville? Yeah. Guarantee some people from Kauai gonna be watching and hating and hey, chill, chill. Like, we just, we're just showing people around, but a lot of people, they're gonna live here part-time or they want this like resort escape that's right next to ruggedness. I think Princeville is it. Few Beautiful minutes, hikes, waterfall minutes. hikes. Yeah. The cliffs. Yeah. The bay. The golf course and nice jogging paths. And yeah. Still got chickens though. <laughs> the All chickens. Right. Any other nugs about Kauai? You just live different for sure. Uh, flip flops, shorts, the whole nine. We brought slippers, bro. Oh, slippers. Definitely. I love. Uh, yeah, just the vibe. Vibe creature tribe. If you go to our channel and uh, what did we title the Kaa'a one? 
This side of the island is different. This side of the island is different, but on the northeast side of Oahu, Ka'a'ava, Punalu'u, like it's like all of Kauai is that, like north and east Oahu. It's 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 pretty amazing. I just wanted to stop here because look at this porch. So in Hawaii, they're like we'll say like plantation style home. And if you're coming from the mainland, especially if you're coming from like the south, plantation means this big grand home, you know, like the White House. And then Hawaii plantation is like board and bath in. It's this Hawaii style home. And then you have like this sort of thing in Princeville. It's like, it's both. You don't see big porches in, in Hawaii a lot. We're standing across from this, this albatross thing, like bird. All right, you know, quite frankly, I started driving because some people were walking by and this is the kind of neighborhood where they might like call the cops or something, I, I feel like. <laughs> I could be wrong. So if you watch this and you're from, you live Princeville, like, hey, don't talk shit, I'm sorry. So I want to point out something that I don't think, I don't know if I've said this in any of our other videos. So now we're on Kauai, I'm taking in like the feel and the vibes of Princeville and how this is, you know, literally like geographically, like topographically elevated. And it's also elevated, you know what I mean? And tell me not, when you see a pine tree like this in Hawaii, you do you automatically assume like it's like a little bit bougie? I mean, Mililani. Mililani Malka, Haiku, Kaneohe, Pupukea. So it doesn't have to be bougie, but it's in a more mountainous area. Like my wife loves them because she loves, she likes like the Sierra Nevadas in California, like that, those kind of mountains, like snow-capped mountains. So she loves these pine trees. And I'm noticing, you know, it's consistent with Malka, Pupukea, et cetera. It's like, it's in, they have these in Princeville. So pine trees are almost like a subtle nod to like elevation in Hawaii. Not only elevation because of the temperature supports the pine tree, but also like a, a certain kind of neighborhood. And hey, I'm here for it. Oh, and we have albatross, which I didn't know was a thing. So you saw the sign earlier, albatross crossing, right? I associate like the albatross bird with like cliffs and whatever. I don't know why, like I don't know the whole thing behind it. But I think this cliff will tell the story. The whole idea of Princeville, kind of like on Oahu, there's Laie Point. But the difference in Laie Point is not as like big, widespread, and it's not as elevated. It's it's a little bit of a different thing, but kind of like Laie Point on Oahu, everything's kind of focused towards this ocean, and for good reason. When you see this drone footage, but also like don't underestimate and sleep on these mountain views. Like look at that. So we just left Princeville. We we're thinking about going back to Hanare. But that's gonna take like a whole hour. We tried to get coffee this morning. Solid 10, 15 minutes, the line didn't even move. So North Shore Kauai time is a real thing. But we just pulled into here and all the construction workers are eating at the general store. So there's a couple of nice places to eat. But all the construction brothers at the general store. So that's what we're eating. We're in, what is this place called? Wait, let me look the name real quick. <laughs> North Shore General Store. And so we're having a hard time ordering. I've been trying to eat healthier. Like I've been eating really, really clean. We all woke up at 3.30 in the morning. like. Yeah, give me a break on this one, but I asked Auntie, I like, what do most people eat? And she said, chili pepper chicken. I said, chili pepper chicken? You know Ishiki's. And she started naming it, it was like, Bobby, Job. They said, oh yeah, I went to school with the older brother. Uncle still lives over here, etc." If you're ever in California, at, in Long Beach, there's the Hawaiian kitchen. His older brother, Bobby, has this restaurant. They sell chili pepper chicken. And I never heard of chili pepper chicken on Oahu. And she's like, I don't think it's like a thing. But they're known for chili pepper chicken. Job guys are from around here. So I, what happened, Bobby took chili pepper chicken. He took it to the mainland. We have mutual friends. She went to high school with my friend's older brother, whatever. And then our clients just ate chili pepper chicken in California. So this is their original. So shout outs to uh, Teresa and Sean. Crazy. Small island, small world. You put Tabasco on here, potato salad. Buenas, buenas. Ridiculous. So good. Rebel. I'm a, I'm a rebel. Put this one over here too. Back to working on my lab values and my blood work when we get back to Oahu. We're on the way back from Hanare, going to Lihue. Right before Kapa'a, there's a town called Anahola. We stay in Anahola right now. <laughs> Why am I talking so pigeon? For like Oahu, I would say somewhere in between like a Wahiwa, Makaha, Waimanalo. Waimanalo, you assume you're right towards by the ocean. So a little bit more of like a Wahiwa, Makaha, like valley type, type thing, or like Lahaina Street in Makaha. This isn't a place where we're likely to help anyone by real estate. You can tell from the homes, these are like long-standing local families. See like an extra car that hasn't been running for years or parts, th things like that. It's not any place we're likely to help anyone do real estate, but it's just to show all aspects of Hawaii. The older towns, the newer towns. We just came from the bougie resort town. 
and this is, you know, something in between, between you and I. We kind of went up to the top of the street. There's like dead end, dirt road, and seemed a little like sketchy, I don't know. And then a truck came out, and I was like looking at us like, so even though we're from here, I feel like I can handle myself, whatever. We just got out. We just we just left. If that's their territory and their zone, then that's that's totally fine with us. So you do the same thing from the mainland or from Oahu going Kauai or Maui or vice versa. Or, you know, mainland people especially coming here. If it just seems not Pono, not right, then just just leave. You know, just get out and throw the shakas. Oh, you Cowboys fan? <laughs> yeah, watching the game right now. How are you, Uncle? Hey, good to see you. How's the game? On the bad daily to winning. You still have the boat, huh? The Kalapaki. Where your smokehouse there? Over there in the corner. Paper clip, uh, bend the paper clip and hang on the meat. How long take for smoke on? About six hours, seven hours. Depend. Okay. Sometimes you can, if you like make them, you can make them five hours. I remember when we came small kid time, I don't remember going Hanare. But today we went Hanare. Had like Hawaiian six feet, like barrels, nobody else. Had different peaks. Like when you go Hanare Bay, way out to the left, had on the left. Way out in front of Princeville, had a couple, like the, so yeah. many waves. The one, the one down by Princeville side is where you go. Uh, what do you call that? What impossible, they, we call impossible. it. Yeah, impossible than the bow. And after you come in the middle of the bay, we call them the sandbar over the pine trees. Oh, pine trees. I heard yeah. of pine trees. Yeah. you go way on the other corner, before you leave on the the white cocoa, the left break. Cliff right there, the white cocoa. That one was working today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Green lady sky. Oh, beautiful, man. What is the one in the harbor? The one, ammonia. And that, that's my way when I was young. Yeah, that's what you tell me. Yeah. yeah. So every time I go so far more, my dad used to throw my, my grandma ashes there, uh, right close to that area. Yeah, yeah. Every time I go so far more, I tell grandma, I hope they give me some good waves today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get phone now. You take picture over the beach every time. Yeah, huh? I take the sunrise. But I, I cut, cut the coast and then they take pictures. I'm like, fuck, over and we'll get the COVID, you know. And, oh, <laughs> you vaccinated. Like no. Never get them. This is mine and I, I bought this boat $1,500 a long time ago. Brother. And one day I was cleaning out my house like, by mistake and I'm throwing away the pot. Yeah, maybe on top of maybe 5000 I'm not too sure yet, oh. you know. Uncle, we got to go airport. You can take picture okay. of us. Guarantee, guarantee. Here. Yeah. Where, where should stand? Oh, over here. Stand yeah, the cowboy right. cap too. Oh, <laughs> Niners all day. Yeah, you know, you're the Niners. Yeah, that is Niners. Yeah, it's winter, they got to play the 49ers. Oh. So they have to invoke my heart, but I like the 49ers too, a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we just went to see my uncle. When I first came to Hawaii as a kid and went to Kauai, like that house, my dad lived there as a little kid, that house, it represents something. Like and my uncle, you could offer him a billion, literally a billion, he wouldn't move. And there's, there's something special about that. I don't know the zoning, but people try to buy his house, but families try to get him out. Like my uncle is, he's there for the long run. And there's something, I don't know, something special about that. So we're rushing to the airport. I had to get that house in because it, it, I don't know. It's just a special thing. When I first came to Kauai, my uncle made me eat like dry fish. And you know, his, his pigeon is super thick, like a different kind of pigeon. and. As a young kid, I had a hard time understanding him. Like, even Hawaii people cannot understand my uncle. <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a special place. So the first time I ever ate smoked meat was from that smokehouse, the mango trees. My dad actually has bad memories there from like getting lickings, you know, getting spankings. And like, it's a whole thing. You know, I can't wait for my dad to see this one. It'd be a special one. In this video, we really try to stay in the resort areas because not only like, will Kauai people get nuts, if you show their island but also like we kind of don't want to show like you know i don't want to don't want to show this whole island um in a way i don't mean that i'm like uh too good for anyone just like uh it's hard to explain unless you're from here. All right, guys. So common questions people give us all the time. Is it too early for me to look? No, it is not too early. Whatever your timeline might be, if you're considering a move to Hawaii, a purchase or a sale on Oahu or any of the islands in Hawaii, make sure you click the link below to check out our website, fill out the contact form, let us know your timeline and let's connect soon. If you are an agent checking out our channel, I told you guys don't go to our channel, but if you happen to you're watching our channel, you're a real estate agent. Drop our name when you go to Liftoff Agent. For everybody, check out our new website, because our new website's gonna be fire. Let's go.